hallelujah on this beautiful day i believe god has a message for you and today my message is don't waste your crisis hallelujah we are all going through crisis we are all in deep waters but let me tell you there were many in the bible who went through crisis but they never wasted it abraham isaac jacob joseph david Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, many, many examples throughout the Bible of people who went through crisis, but they never wasted their time. They never lingered in their discouragements, but rather they put on faith. Today, I'm going to encourage you, don't waste this time of crisis, but put on faith and trust that God is going to take you through this. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you to the story of Paul. Paul, a man of God, who, who has written uh, the most number of God, uh, 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 letters in the New Testament and such powerful. So one of his uh, testimony I want to take, it's in Acts chapter 27 and 28. We are not going to read it because I want you to read it because it's very important. When we read these stories, this will be encouragement to you. Now, we... We all go through crisis and there are times and many people who are listening to me, there are times you would have said, God, why are you allowing one after another crisis in my life? Here is a man who was arrested and was being transported to Rome to be judged and to, exec and to be executed. And on the way, there came a storm, there was a shipwreck and he escaped all that and landed up in, in an island called Malta. And there, because of the cold, he was uh, a burning uh, uh, fire. And suddenly a poisonous snake, because of the heat of the fire, came and bit his head. I mean, first you get arrested and then you go through the storm and then a shipwreck and then finally a poisonous snake bites you. There was crisis in his life. But what did he do? He simply shook away every crisis and trusted his God, believed in Jesus and turned it into a miracle. Hallelujah. The, the snake that bit him didn't bother him. He just threw that snake into that fire. And what happened next was a miracle. He transformed the island of Malta because people saw the miracles that happened, the crisis that came and he came out victorious. That became a testimony and because of which he could reach to the leader of, of that village. And, and then many who were sick were healed on that day and people heard the gospel. Hallelujah. Turn your gospel Turn your crisis into an opportunity to share God's goodness. Hallelujah. God bless you. And I believe today's this word will encourage you that whatever crisis you are in, you're going to turn this around and bring it out for the glory of God. Amen.